I just pinched my finger. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today I'm saying goodbye to the Chester Drawers. I know a lot of people say, you're really showing your roots by calling it Chester Drawers. But what else would you call these things? It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo. Still consuming only water. I will give a weight loss update in a few days. I'm almost at one month. So I will give the next weight loss documentation to the world at the one month plateau of me tapering back on my eating habits, drinking only water. I still have not had coffee and juice or milk or anything other than water. At some point, I will go back to coffee with less cream and less sugar, but that's a long ways off. I still have a long way to go to get down to the weight I want to get to. So stay tuned. Hopefully in a few days, I will give you an update on how much I have lost. But well, what do you think? I still have a ways to go, but I think you can see a considerable difference from when I started this three, three and a half weeks ago. I love these old school McDonald's signs, and I also love the fact that that is driving down the road into a storage unit area, some offices in a storage unit area here in Fullerton, California. And I don't know if you've ever heard the band Social Distortion. Well, they were based out of Fullerton and are probably the biggest punk band or even mainstream band to come out of Fullerton, California. And I got a little inside tip on where the former Casbah Studios were, where they recorded their first album. If you look through my side mirror, you will see the numbers 1895 and then the letter N. That is the former Casbah Studios where Mike Ness and the rest of the gang from Social Distortion way back in the day recorded their first song and their first album, Mommy's Little Monster. The thing that really drew me into the whole punk scene and the punk lifestyle was the DIY do-it-yourself attitude and nothing says do-it-yourself more than recording music in a little building that's used for storage. Of course, it's been changed around a lot. Now it's used for window storage. There's a video online. Just look up Mike Ness Casbah Studios. You can find it on YouTube. And way back in the day, Mike Ness was here giving an interview, talking about the studio and giving a tour of the studio right here in this parking lot. Another really cool tidbit about Social Distortion, some of their early songs. The singer Mike Ness would sing about sitting by the railroad tracks, smoking cigarettes, and whatnot. These are the railroad tracks that he was singing about because they would hang out in that studio, which was right there. And of course, come here, hear the sounds of the trains going by. A lot of that was incorporated into his mindset when he wrote the songs. Pretty cool. Another legendary punk rock spot here in Fullerton was a venue by the name of Ichabod's. It has been written about, it has been documented in former you know, VHS versions of punk rock documentaries. It burned down a few years ago and now there is a Burger King where it once stood. Think of all the bands that played in that exact spot. Crazy to think that bands like R.E.M., The Cramps, The Adolescents, all played in this spot where this Burger King sits. There was another building here, a venue. History. This is the Fullerton Transportation Depot. And the reason I stopped off here is because right over at the bus station was a very tragic event that happened a few years ago it has become very controversial and they have set up a makeshift memorial to the homeless man who was beaten to death by some police officers 
right over there. The interesting thing is I have been here before to this venue called the Slide Bar. I never realized that right here on this pole there have been letters, pictures, notes, all in dedication of this man. This is Kelly Thomas and you can see the back side of this bus only sign they have placed a photo of him and says change for justice. This side says buses only. This side is the memorial. There's some pretty intense footage on the internet you can look up somewhere at the train station or up here on the bus station there were some security cameras that filmed the beating of this man. It happened basically right here on the corner. Basically sitting right next to this pole and happened right in here. It's pretty it's pretty sad and very dramatic but if you want to look it up and check it out you can find it online. And just around the corner from that location is this mural and you'll see the words Leo Fender in that mural, which brings me to my next spot. Former site of the Leo Fender factory, the original spot for Fender guitars. Now sits a parking structure. Feast your eyes on these. This is the entire set of Three's Company trading cards from 1978. And not only are they cards, they are stickers. And these are pretty much in near mint to mint condition. There are 44 of them. The first half have this pink border around them. And then the second half, number 28 on, well, I guess it's a little more than half, have a little bit different border. But man, these are freaking cool. This is before Furley. This is back when the Ropers were the landlords and not Furley. Look at those crazy kids. You gotta love John Ritter. Look at that cool guy. Nobody could jump over a couch with more eloquency if that's even a word, than John Ritter. Man, what ever happened to that couch? Should be in the Smithsonian. It's not, but it should be. Those are cool. I love Three's Company. I can't even explain to you how much I love that show. I've seen all 176 episodes. That's right, 174 originally aired episodes, and then the two episodes that were never aired. I have the DVD sets of all the seasons. And I have seen every episode at least twice. I have watched all the DVDs through from start to finish two times, plus all the times I saw it when it used to come on TV and then on Nick at Night and TV Land and all that. So at the bare minimum, I've seen every episode twice. But some episodes I've probably seen up to maybe 10 times. I love this show. And now it's time for Ask Adam the Who. Don't forget the hashtag. Hey Adam, how was that California Adventure Park yesterday? And I have a question for you. Are those petunias? I honestly don't know anymore. Hey Adam, um, is Neve remember me because I remember you from Gatlinburg because, and um, this is my question. Um, have you ever been to Legoland because you might get your driver's license and your um. You're, um, uh, have a bump bed with it, and, um, you can, might sleep at the top or the bottom, or we might have an adult bed, and maybe you can go to, um, what, and what's your favorite pizza? That's my question. I like Canadian bacon or pepperoni, but Canadian bacon. That's my favorite. Is imitation the sincerest form of flattery? It's my second channel, 
my daily vlog channel. It's the daily one. I think it is. <laughs> I think it is. That was awesome.